Getting your learners into the badge layer of your learning ecosystem friction-free is crucial to creating a truly learner-centered educational experience. Badger is always working to help you realize this objective, and some upcoming feature releases to the Blackboard integration with Badger will make your learners and instructors badging experience in the LMS even better. My name is Justin Rose. I'm the Director of Education and Training at Badger. Today, we will explore a few changes that accompany the November 2021 release of the Badger Blackboard LTI. By the end of this training, you will be able to do the following. Describe changes to the Badger integration user experience in Blackboard. Describe changes to naming conventions in the application. Navigate and administer the Badger application in Blackboard successfully and prepare for feature improvements in the next integration release. The first important change with the new release that we will review is issuer and badge locking. Installing the Badger integration within your instance of Blackboard and adding it to a course has not changed. For instructions on how to install the integration, you can access the following knowledge base article. No changes will need to be made to existing integrations, and your current integration will not need to be reinstalled or modified due to this release. Once you've logged into Blackboard, navigate to Administrator Tools, Tools and Utilities, and then select your integration's admin area. Under the Pre-Authorizations tab, you will see that you are able to toggle between allowing instructors to use their personal issuers, which gives instructors the ability to use any Badger issuer on which they are staff in their courses in this deployment, and not allowing instructors to use their personal issuers, which requires instructors to only use the pre-authorized organizations or issuers below, meaning that they will not be able to choose their own personal Badger issuers. You can also toggle between allowing instructors to create and modify badges, which gives the instructors the ability to create and edit badges in the issuers associated with their courses within the Badger integration, and not allowing instructors to create and modify badges, which means that the badge authoring must be performed by LMS admins or directly in the Badger interface by issuer staff members. Note that the pre-authorization process has not changed. Let's close the administrator panel and move on to our next feature release exploration. Now that you know how to lock and unlock issuers and badge modification for your instructors in the admin area of the LTI, let's take a look at how the experience and nomenclature are changing in the newest release of the Badger integration in Blackboard. Once you have accessed a course in your Blackboard LMS that has the Badger integration installed, open the integration from the content screen of the course. We are currently in the Setup tab of the application. Note that the space is visible to learners. By clicking on the ellipsis button on the right side of the page and selecting Edit Space, we can toggle that visibility off and on. When this space is visible, learners can view their progress and the leaderboard. Members can view related pathways whether or not the space is visible. This setting can also be configured when the space is created. This change to the user experience is partly in preparation for a future feature release, which we will discuss later. Note that the buttons in the badges section of the interface have changed. Instead of objectives, the large button now reads Manage Blackboard Badges. This change was made to create a more seamless integration experience by reducing excess nomenclature within the application that may distract from the primary purpose of the integration namely to allow your organization to easily award badges, develop gamified courses, and support learner achievement recognition directly within the Blackboard LMS. Clicking the Manage Blackboard Badges button will open a page that displays a list of Blackboard course items which are eligible for badging, including tests and assignments. From there, you can select the requirements associated with the item that trigger a badge award, the badge you wish to award for successfully completing that requirement, and the number of leaderboard points awarded for that badge. An important point about the leaderboard. For Badger Pro orgs, in a new space, the leaderboard must be configured to be displayed from the Edit Options feature in the leaderboard area of the application. By default, that option will be configured as Off, except in the case of existing spaces that are using the leaderboard. Existing spaces will not change settings in terms of leaderboard enablement. 
Alongside the updated Manage Blackboard Badges button is another button with an ellipsis. When clicked, it will display a drop-down of two options, Add External Badge and Add Manually Awarded Badge. The Add External Badge option allows you to add badge recognition from outside of the space to the Badger application in Blackboard. This feature actively monitors your course roster's Badger backpacks for the badge or badges you choose to recognize within your course. The Add Manually Awarded Badge option allows staff to manually award a badge to learners when they complete the requirements. These badges must be awarded in the space and they cannot have evidence or narrative added to the assertion. The Add Pathway feature has not changed in the new release. Recall that only existing pathways in the selected issuer can be added within the application. Under the Learners tab, you will note that the Resync button is now available at the bottom of the page. Clicking on the Resync Now button will update the progress and roster fields to display the most current data within your course. Also note that the LTI will not allow you to manually add users to the space, as they will be automatically populated based on your Blackboard course roster. Staff are also added via the roster. Now that we have viewed the changes within the setup area of the space, let's move on to the progress area. We'll take the next few minutes to review improvements to the user interface in the progress area of the application. The first area we see is the Badges and Pathways overview, which provides us with high-level visibility to overall learner progress on each badge and requirement, as well as progress on pathways. Note that the Requirement field includes an icon that helps to visually distinguish between the types of Blackboard course components that comprise the requirements learners must satisfactorily complete in order to earn the associated badge. Clicking into a badge in the Badges and Pathways area opens up a page that displays rich visual and descriptive information about the award, as well as a breakdown of individual learner progress on that particular badge. By clicking into the Learner Progress area within the Larger Progress tab, you will be able to see badge and pathway analytics for individual learners across all badges and pathways in the space. You can view the badges each learner has earned, as well as a summary of their pathway completion based on unearned and earned milestone badges. By selecting on an individual learner, the page that opens also displays a rich set of visual and textual information about the learner's progress in the course. Note that no changes can be made to badge and pathway associations from within the Progress tab. All changes must be made within the Setup tab that we viewed earlier. Also note that the UI in the Learner Progress area is similar in look and feel to the Groups feature within the standalone Badger application. Now that we have explored all of the major changes and improvements to the Badger integration in Blackboard in the newest feature release, let's take a few moments to prepare for the next release. You can be on the lookout for the following types of changes in the next release. First is an integration name change. We'll be moving from Spaces to Badger. The second change will be the merging of spaces and groups. The word spaces will be sunset within the UI, and the groups functionality will be available across the LTI experience. Finally, further UI and UX improvements. Added ease of use and a more robust learner and instructor experience within the LMS are on the way. A detailed training like this one will be provided to you at the time of the next release so that you are fully ready to understand and leverage those changes for optimal use of Badger within your Blackboard LMS. Thank you for taking the time to participate in this training. Now that you have achieved the learning outcomes for this session, you have earned the Blackboard LTI Release Proficiency Badge. If you have any questions or need assistance with your Badger integration in Blackboard, please reach out to Badger Support at support.badger.com or your Customer Success Manager.